What's going on? My name is Psyche and welcome back to Dead Cells. Today will be a quick guide on how to perform the wall run. So the wall run is a move that new players probably won't explore on their own because it's not something that the game explicitly tells you that you can do. So it kind of comes to you naturally as you learn the game mechanics. And once you learn the basics of world traversing, you'll, you'll just come across this movement naturally. So the wall run is where you can run vertically up against a single surface without having to bounce to a surface on the opposite side. So it's kind of like the usual wall climbing, but with a singular surface. So normally how the wall run is supposed to work is that once you reach a certain point, your character will climb up and then stop. What you're supposed to do then is to jump over to the opposite wall and keep going up. And you're supposed to rinse and repeat this process until you reach the top level. However, there is a way to skip half of the process and just go up a singular wall. And once you get the hang of it, this is actually pretty easy to perform. So obviously before you do this, you are going to need the spider rune. So here are the controls on how to perform the wall run. It's actually pretty simple. So scale up a wall and once you reach a certain point your character will stop. Once you stop just quickly tap the attack button and then press the jump button again. So I'll show my button presses on the screen so you can kind of get a feel for it. It's okay if you do it slow you can wait till your character stops before you press the attack button and then pressing the jump button. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it seamlessly. And there doesn't seem to be a limit on how far you can climb up before you can't do this anymore. So just keep practicing and eventually you will get the hang of it. Now why should you learn how to do the wall run? Well other than some utility purposes, it actually gives you an edge in combat. So you'll see here, I'm in a really tricky situation. But what I'm able to do is use the wall climb to quickly climb out of that hot spot and go to a safe place where I can kind of prepare my next attack. So once you get the hang of how to wall climb, it actually becomes something that you would just do naturally. While it may not seem too much of a purpose at the beginning of the game, once you reach about 3-4 BC, then the wall climb will actually become very very important in your gameplay. So that's going to be it for this very quick guide. Hopefully I'll be able to put out some more guides before Fatal Falls DLC comes out. So until then, thanks for watching.